What's up everybody? It's C. Osvaldo Gomez, aka Teacher Homie G. This video is for all the teenagers out there, my peeps. So check this out, teens. Uh, every year, you know, I teach science and I have to teach physics. And I always tell my students right before we go into physics, so you're going to be doing a lot more math. And almost all, always, without fail, somebody will yell out, but homie G, I suck at math. So first of all, with that attitude, of course you suck at math. You can't have uh, a limited fixed mindset attitude about your math abilities or skills. Number one, okay? Your math skills are not capped. You can open up that cap, which is your brain, and put more and more and more uh, insight into it there's no there's no tank that gets full okay your brain can absorb lots of information anyways so first of all fix that attitude number one you don't suck at math okay maybe you do but it is because you don't do the one thing that will make you great at math and you know what that is you just can't face it it's practice of course how do you get good at playing uh, Clash Royale or uh, playing uh, Minecraft or those games online where you're competing against other people, you know, carrying one of them weapons that you reload every 30 seconds and try to hunt people down. How do you get good at those games? How do you get good at sports? Of course, you have to practice, right? You understand that concept. So it's the same with math, okay? You can't expect to be good at math if all you do is the homework. And some of you don't even do the homework that your teachers give you, your math teacher. So don't expect to be good at math if you're not putting in the same effort that you put in to get good at video games or a sport or anything else for that matter. Okay, It takes, it takes at least one or two hours a day uh, of practice of math to be really great at it. Okay, To be good at it, an hour. Now check this out. I am not saying that you uh, won't be successful if you're not good at math, okay? There are obvious other pathways that don't involve you uh, uh, being a mathematician. But for the most of you, I would say at least 60, 70% of you, the pathway you know of to get success is going to college. And the reason why you want to be good at math or great at math for that matter is for starters so you can pass the higher end math classes at high school, okay? Because you see, math happens to be one of the biggest gatekeepers in America, keeping students back from getting accepted to college, okay? No math beyond algebra one geometry means you can't probably pass chemistry with a good grade or physics for that matter, okay? So you need to up your game with math. You need to put those games down on the phone, on the console, whatever, um, and sit at home and actually do some practice problems for once, okay? It won't hurt you. And it's boring? Well, too bad. You know, that's the way things are. Uh, you're going to have to uh, improve your math skills and abilities if you are to go on to college and, uh, and get a great career. Um, of course, like I said, you don't have to be a mathematician. You don't have to be good at math. Uh, but you better have your entrepreneurship skills up there and you better have other avenues of, of making money once you leave high school. Because for most of you, going to college is the pathway that uh, will get you there. Um, so uh, that's pretty much all I have to say today. Remember what I said about practice. Um, go home, open up that math textbook or go on Khan, Khan, what's it called? Khan, Khan Academy. There you go. Go on Khan Academy and uh, and do some problems from the videos. All right. All right. I am out of here. Peace out. Lates.